Capricorn, hello. Welcome to your July tarot reading. We're going to start with your oracles here. I'm overzealous, wanting to draw them already. But this is a partner A and B spread for you and someone in your environment. Doesn't have to be love. I hope it resonates. Sometimes it doesn't. But feel free to check previous and future readings for more different information, as well as your other placements. Anyway, I've been getting this gentleman collar card for so many signs lately. I feel like you guys have a secret admirer or just an admirer, period. The only reason I'm saying secret admirer is because I feel like there's some sort of distance between you and somebody or some sort of block. I don't know what it is. It's like someone doesn't feel secure enough to come forward or unable to make certain moves here. Okay, I call this gentleman caller, but male or female, it doesn't matter. What is on this person's mind is a commitment, okay? Um, I also feel like you may be committing yourself to certain projects or newer projects, maybe a new job, um, some new partnership, whatever the case. However, someone here has a commitment with you in mind, okay? Um, what else did I draw? Was it this one? Yeah, I really do feel like there is some sort of problem with somebody's... Um, personal security level so maybe they feel insecure maybe they don't feel good enough maybe they are actually lacking in certain funds for certain i don't know making them feel less than kind of thing is what i have here um it's like this person is trying to scrounge up the courage to talk to you to come forward there may have been some transgressions prior to this it's also like they're waiting for a perfect time because something about this timing is wrong or maybe you're super busy right now, Capricorn, or caught up in other things. There's something about this timing that's just making this person wanting to come in feel like something is off. You probably know about this or you have a hunch at least. At the very least, you have a hunch because you have a beautiful new beginning regardless whether or not it's with a new person. I definitely do feel you have a lot of blessings coming in. You can definitely tell you have the Oshun card, the generosity energy coming in. I feel like you're moving into a period that may be a little bit murky at this time or a little bit uncomfortable because it's a growth period. But it also feels like um, you're kind of settling in like new energies here. And in those new energies, you're experiencing growth or taking on new responsibilities, more responsibilities. And because of that, you're going to reap the benefits and be able to have more than enough to share with other people in your environment. Although for the time being, you may feel like you're sacrificing some parts of yourself or um, relationships with people, maybe hobbies, this kind of thing. There's some sort of sacrifice that you're experiencing. And I also feel you may be uncertain about your journey forward because this is a lot of fresh energy coming in. Okay, um, now let's pull for Capricorn on the left, please. Capricorn on the left. Partner A. The Three of Swords, moving past a disappointment here. Yeah, look at this. Okay. I see you coming out victorious from some sort of ending, but you sat in that energy for quite some time. Um, it was heartbreaking, but you do have the Six of Wands. So this is victory through like some sort of um, disappointment. So it's like triumph. Okay, you're coming out triumphant here. I see you kind of recognizing what didn't work and kind of learning from that as well, okay? Here we go. You're coming out with some Taurus energy here, guys. Okay. <laughs> some of you, I have I have several messages to tell you. Um some of you are gaining information about a certain person in your environment. But I also feel this energy of, is this person watching me? Are they watching me walk by? Why do they always look at me? Do they look me up online? This kind of thing, okay? That's one of the messages, definitely. Um, I also feel like 
you could be considering going back to some sort of spiritual practice here or getting stronger in your faith or your spirituality or whatever it is that you do, okay? There's also an energy here of you, Capricorn, wondering if you should go back to and like take a course of study or relearn something. And I feel like this is something you may have dropped off of prior. And I see you just gaining information on that. Okay. Now, I also feel like Capricorn, there's <laughs> so many things here. You're kind of like wondering what is a commitment these days? Like, what does that mean to me? And you're kind of questioning um, marriage, commitment in general. Kind of trying to suss out what it is that you want for, I don't know, the future. So as to not repeat some certain disappointments, basically. Okay. Now, there's also an energy of someone here watching you and trying to find out if you're married. Whether or not you're married, whether or not you're still married. You could be considering, should I turn back around and work on that prior commitment in whatever form that is for you? Um, why are people concerned if other people are married? Well, most likely because they want to have something with you and make sure that you're not being compromised by another energy. <laughs> not that you're being compromised, but just saying. Show me partner B. Who is partner B and how are they relating to this, please? And thank you. Partner B. Partner B got some secret energy. Why? Okay. They are hiding some sort of passionate exchange. What is this? One second. We got some King of Cups energy coming out here. I see someone. Yeah, this is about marriage, guys. I see someone here kind of bowing to... Um, some sort of legal adjustment, legal family situation, or mm, it's like they're honoring a commitment. When I say bowing, honoring a, some certain commitment here, wanting to make sure their household is running smoothly, peacefully, and this kind of thing. Okay, somebody is married here, or marriage is on the table here, somehow, some way. okay? The fact that we get the Seven of Swords and the Page of Swords, I'm feeling like someone's trying to find information about another person's commitments or marriages. Yeah, most definitely. There's some sort of information here that's coming out, guys. Um, and someone will be facing justice for this. So there's definitely a fair amount of karma coming out here. I don't want to get too much into that, but anyway. On this side, we have a Scorpio Libra energy. Could be a Cusper, doesn't have to. We also have some Piscean energy. There's some sort of legal thing here, guys, and it's causing turmoil within a household. Yeah. Okay, back to Capricorn, please. Show me this. Show me Capricorn, please, and thank you. Two of Cups. So somebody's in love. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, you had to leave. You had to make a choice to leave something here in the past. It could involve another water sign. Oh, I don't mean another. It's just that I'm seeing two here. So it could involve some sort of water sign energy. So I'm seeing Pisces, Cancer. And then remember I said there's a Scorpio energy out here. I feel like you may have had to leave that energy. I think you still have feelings for this person, okay? I don't know. There's also somebody else here that you may be considering. Hmm. There goes that Scorpio energy. Okay. And Aquarius now. So guess what? I see you considering what is going to happen for you after you move into a new phase of your life. And you are going through a lot of changes. 
um, I think in at least two areas. So I feel like I can say you're going through a change within a commitment, which I feel like you're kind of um, been moving out of that for quite some time. Okay. But I also feel like you have a new financial career um, course of study type of situation. So you're kind of considering what does your new life look like? Okay. In the meantime, as these uh, commitments, prior commitments are wrapping up, there's a brand new one coming here. A brand new commitment coming in here, Capricorn. Yeah, for you. Like I said, you have somebody wanting to come in and offer you something, most likely with the intent of it being stable because it's like you guys have some sort of affinity toward each other. You guys have feelings for one another here. I don't necessarily feel like you're acting toward this. Some of you may be, but you also have this King of Swords energy here showing me that you're kind of being a little bit more distant with this person and it's because you have so many other things that you're still concerned with or newer things that you're concerned with as well. And it maybe just doesn't make sense at this time where you're not sure how to manage or navigate what you're going through as well as invite new energy into your life that is going to be somewhat of a commitment, a time commitment, an energy commitment, this kind of thing. Okay. I'm also getting this energy here of you having some sort of defense lawyer for some reason. And this could have to do with someone you were previously with, someone you were previously dating, um, married to, lived together with. It's about finances. Yeah. You're having a legal dispute about finances. Yeah. Okay. I'm also getting some sort of weird, this is not everybody, this is a weird side note. I don't know how this applies, but some weird um, legal situation concerning like a, like money owed possibly to you from some sort of governmental entity or something about school owing you money something like this maybe a work compensation you see what i'm saying i don't know i'm getting some legal energy coming up for you here hopefully this is being ended yeah i feel like this is wrapping up or it's going to do it quickly something like that okay partner b please back to partner b why is partner b up in their feels but also re ready to fight it's super strange that's just what I'm getting. Okay, here's some Pisces energy. Yeah, some of you are needing to manage a relationship here between you and a Pisces. And the goal here is to have some sort of mediation to not fight or to be more patient with one another, friendly with one another. That's a side note. Okay, two of wands, ace of cups, moon card. Huh. Yeah, you got some Pisces, Aquarius energy here. Also Cancerian energy ending right here. So for some of you, this has to do with... Um, what is that? Uh, January, February, March-ish type of energy. Okay. So this could be a phase completing from then or something that will manifest by this time. Although, maybe those months are significant to you for some reason. Yeah, even this month, you're going to find answers about this. Yeah, there's something about those months that something happened. Or, like, there was no sense of clarity, but there will be. Something will make more sense to you at this time, okay? And you could be dealing with a cusper, too. Anyway... This is somebody here who is needing to make a decision based off of love. Now, Capricorn, who is this person? Because you have an Ace of Pentacles matching their Ace of Cups here. Look at this. 
This is love, empathy, compassion, friendship, romance, all with the intent of it being more stable, okay? But there's a decision here and some fear involved. Hmm. So this is someone offering you love and romance and you're over here offering some sort of stability. It's a good match here. However, we got some uncertainty and I see you kind of confronting it with this person. There's a lot of unspoken emotions, hidden emotions, um, unspoken fears. Yeah, I feel like this is where the bravery comes in that we were talking about. Like someone needs to be strong and what, someone needs to have courage. Someone needs to fight their battles within themselves in order to fight whatever is manifesting outside of themselves because I'm seeing that. Why don't we ask about what's going on in partner B side right here really quick, and then we'll pull some sort of outcome and then see who else you could be dealing with. Yeah, this does have the potential to manifest after a complete ending has happened. So in order to be able to experience this Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, beautiful energy with one another, because I see there's a strong desire to do so. This is someone seeking you. Absolutely, someone seeking you. There may be some sort of legal proceeds that happen prior to this that have to wrap up before you're able to... Um, Remember we talked about those blessings right here with the Oshun card and the generosity. Those blessings are coming in after a brutal ending, guys. Because we have the wheel, wheel of fortune and the nine of cups. This is wish fulfillment. This is a complete 180 of energy. And keep in mind, we all visit different parts of the wheel at different times of life. So it's just like a, it's a cycle here. But something needs to completely end before this is able to be experienced between you and this person. I'm seeing someone who has like a strong Piscean energy here. It's like they're looking at a way to have victory within a situation, whether you're connected to this person or someone else is connected to this Piscean energy. They're kind of on the defense for some reason, but they're setting themselves free here. And that for them is victory. Okay. There's a decision in love, guys. Something is wrapping up and people are coming together. That's what I'm seeing. So tell us what is going to happen between partner A and partner B here. And I will tell you, I feel like I'm picking up two different energies apart from you. Capricorn. Between partner A and partner B. Because I feel like there's two water signs here. Yeah, I don't know why. That's not for everybody. But definitely people have some strong watery energy here. Yeah, there's two there's two other people here. I'm telling you. Look at this. The first card is those three hands. And I see there's like a, a woman giving to two energies right here. Or a feminine energy, whatever, guys. We don't have to get too much into that. <laughs> it seems like 
someone does not see a resolution and cannot keep giving to two energies here. So the only way out is through, and that means there has to be, yeah, there's an ending coming up for someone. So between you and this person, there's an ending of a relationship and a coming together of another one. That's just, I mean, that's just what I keep seeing here. Now, some of you may just want to focus on your finances as well from what I'm seeing. I also get this energy of someone who has like a, a Piscean energy kind of desiring to have control over the situation or, or maybe that's you, but I'm getting it kind of from this Piscean energy right here. Okay, show me Capricorn moving forward. And then we're going to see who you're dealing with or who you may be dealing with. I'll tell you about it in a second. I like this part, though. Yeah. Yep. There's a split here, guys. Begrudgingly walking away from something from what I'm seeing getting out of a past situation and there's the two of cups for you. You may not know that you getting out of this past energy, or you probably do because your high priestess coming out, is bringing in a new, a new connection for you. Yeah. Look at that. Queen of Cups. Okay, well, check previous and future for more different information. We're going to pull here, see who Capricorn may or may not be dealing with. I hope this is focused. It wasn't, or was it? I don't know. Capricorn, who are you dealing with? Some signs show up. Not all signs show up. We're just going to do whoever shows up on the bottom, whoever wants to show up. And what's going on with you and them? If you are, well, first and foremost, there is a decision in love and there are legal paperwork type things involved there, okay? Um, that is wrapping up here from what I'm seeing. It's going to be a quick change in a brand new life because of it. Okay. If you're dealing with a Gemini, someone here wants to um, connect with you. There's a lot of passion here. It's kind of being tempered, okay? So I feel like there may be some sort of coy energy between you and a Gemini or someone's just kind of... Um, trying to be even killed when they're just full of passion. If you're dealing with a Libra, someone here is wondering if you like them too, or possibly are there other people involved? Someone's wondering that about the other person there with that Libra. Dealing with a Gemini, someone is wondering if there could be another shot between you and them and an apology or some sort of connection in that sense. If you are dealing with a Scorpio, someone here is exiting a situation and it's kind of a big change or moving into a new one. If you're dealing with an Aries, someone here is planning to end a situation. That's what they're looking forward to. You could be kind of at a distance from this person. This is someone at a distance, yeah. Yeah, maybe it's like hard to get through to this person. Someone's not answering or someone's feeling blocked there. That's what I'm getting. Could be happening here pretty soon. Um, yeah, you guys have a, a message coming in from someone who has feelings for you. I don't know if you're expecting it or not, but you do. Okay. That's for you, Capricorn. Okay. If you are dealing with a Pisces... Yeah, I feel like there's love between you and this person regardless. There's an ace of cups, so I feel like there's some sort of agreement or a, yeah, something works out for the better here. Also, same message for cancer. If you're dealing with a cancer, there's a cup of love there and communication. If you're dealing with another Capricorn, someone doesn't trust that this would be stable. 
it's interesting because the last few cards we ended with are all right here together about you. You definitely have an Ace of Cups and an Ace of Pentacles here, Capricorn. And I feel like you're focusing more on the stability aspect. Yeah. And your family, your household, your money. Absolutely, that's what I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. If you are dealing with a, who is this? A Sagittarius. There's some sort of fun vacation you might go on with this person. Romantic or not, there's something like that. Okay. Yeah, and there's like a new path between you and them. If you are dealing with a Leo, um, wow, I'm seeing someone like give you, so this is weird, like <laughs> weird visual. I don't know what this relates to. Someone's like giving you like a sack of coins. Um, <laughs> okay, whatever it is, someone may be giving you something that you find valuable. Um, the number 30 is relevant here for some reason. Okay. Yeah, something, a gift that you're going to like, I guess. Anyway, this person wants to connect with you. Mm, again, we have some Scorpio energy and there's communication with this person and a lot of clarity to be had. I think he waited for some time about this or you've been patient about it. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, someone here is uh, experiencing like a total breakdown of what they were used to possibly with someone of their past or some sort of ending, so. You may reconnect with this person, yeah. Uh, they've been resting though. So again, I'm seeing that Scorpio that you may have been on a break from or they healed from something, yeah, there's communication there. Okay, one more, if you're dealing with a Taurus. Mm, I gotta do two more now. Nope, nope, we're doing the one more. Okay, if you're dealing with a Taurus, um, you might find out that this person was entertaining someone of their past or that you were, and it wasn't anything, I don't know, maybe they're talking to them or something of the sort. I also feel like you're going to have some clarity between you and a Taurus that's going to help you move forward. Mm, you have victory there. Yeah, but I feel like there's there's some sort of fight going on between you and this person, so it's like pulling teeth for some reason um, about the truth. I don't know why, but anyway, I love you so very much. It is Scorpio Spy. I'm so glad you're able to watch your tarot reading here today with me, and um, feel free to check your neighbors, your co-workers, your friends' placements, your lovers' placements, whoever's placements in the world, as well as your other ones. Make sure to leave a like or a dislike, but please like anyway. And yeah, comment below or whatever else you guys do. I totally appreciate it. Love you so much. Bye.